Hello and welcome to Taik 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to avoid sending a duplicate emails when we are using Power Automate to send an alert kind of thing using Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So if you see my screen uh, we have this status. This is just an example of a project management thing. So here we have a project visitor management and these are the list of tasks and this is a due date and these are the actual dates and the status of each and every task and who is responsible for that particular task by user and who are the managers for that particular user. So if you look at this one, there are uh, status is yet to confirm or uh, overdue in time. So I want to send an alert only for the overdue cases. So here if I look into this one, there are three overdue cases here and here there are two users and the reporting manager is also the two of them. But if you notice here the manager, it's actually this one mamadadnanti at gmail.com is repeating two times. If you are using a regular step process which I have discussed on earlier in my previous videos, then it will actually send a repeated emails like two emails for this particular person. For the same thing so that's not a good one even if there is a multiple cases for a single person it has to go for a single email for that particular person so how can we do that is basically as usual we need to add the power automate flow in this one and then we need to click on these options but before do that if you select this one you just need to drag and drop this power automate onto your canvas and then you need to drag and drop whatever the field which you need for this one to send an email you need to send all of them here and after that you need to click on this one and edit this one so if i click on that it will open a power automate inside power bi web experience here you can also do the same thing in power bi desktop so if you haven't watched about my previous videos how we need to do all these kind of steps please go and check out that video to get clear understanding about what is the sequence of things which we need to do so this is the flow which I have created here and if I click on edit, this will give us the list of flow. I will just quickly give the glimpse of whatever the steps which I have taken here just to avoid unnecessary time here. So that this is the default one on Power BI button click and if I click here all details which is basically I use the compose function. If you click on this one plus add an action and here you can type compose. And this comes under data operations compose. So this is basically what it has is is construct an object inside to this one. So you don't need to call your data base data source every time. So you can just store it as a temporary uh, thing. You can say as temporary table. It stores everything inside to this itself. So I have just given a name as all details here. And after that, I am just using a variable here, which is basically you can create here add an action and you can give it a name as variable and here first of all you need to use initialize a variable then only you can able to add or append inside to that so by doing that i just created a variable here which is manager array list and this is an array so here we have plenty of options here boolean integer float string object or array but here i am using array for this one as we are initializing this value so i am not giving any default value for this one let it be blank and now here I need to create append to array variable. So that also you can also get here if you click on this one and variable you will get an option of append string to variables append to array variables. So we have created an array variable. So we need to use these options append to array variable and if you do so then after that you just need to select the name of which variable you want to append. So here in the drop down we have created in the previous step as manager list if i expand this one here you can see the name manager array list the same thing which i am also adding up here and here when you click on this one this will open up a small dialog box onto the right side and here you need to click on if you just scroll down and here what i have used here apply to each power bi data manager i just click on this one so as we have multiple records on this data so it is just added here apply to each so for each and every line, like um, if each and every line, so we have seen in the previous screen that we have three rows for the overdue. So each and every line it will go 
one by one and it will append those information inside to this one and after that what we need to do here is the main thing so as we have now two mamadadanti at gmail.com one is adnan at gmail.com so we need to make them unique so what you need to do again i'm just initializing a new variable here like we did in the previous step here this way and here also i'm giving it name as array here but here in the default value section i'm just using a formula here which is the main part here if i click on this one you can see it on the expression basically um, union of variable manager array list which is the array which we have created here and again i'm just using the union all i mean inside to the union we need to add multiple tables right so if i i am again using the same thing here the reason is because the union function actually combine both the tables and then it will give you the unique values out of it so this is how it will work on the sql and other languages also so that the same logic applies here if you're using union and even though if you are calling the same variable of array variables repeatedly but it will combine everything and then it will just pull up only the unique values here so this is the main step of this entire video as well and after that i'm just applying another step here for each so inside to that for each unique managers so actually it has to go two times now instead of three so for each and every unique managers it will just first of all i am adding again this one a loop manager which is basically a compose option here for each and every like i did here class plus icon add an action here data operations if i go inside to data operations data operations here here you can see plenty of option here 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 i have selected here the select option this one so basically it just select the managers of this current item if you click here as we are on the each loop it just give an option of for each loop the current item so basically it will go row by row and it will pick up this value i am just storing this into a variable now and after that i am filtering that into that array list so basically this is a variable i am capturing it here for an example it will pick up mohammadadnanti@gmail.com the first one and then here if we add a filter array if you click here and then click on add an action if you select filter here it's also comes under data operations and you need to click on filter array so i have created here for this from actually i have used it from this one loop manager this is actually coming from outputs of all details if you just let me zoom in a bit here if i mouse over here you can see outputs all details because if you see here everything it looks like output output here but actually on the gray color you can see it all details so i'm taking all the details basically all details is nothing but this one composed one it has all the data in the table as an object so i'm using that here and then i'm filtering this as a manager of this table and filtering the manager column and that should be this one so basically if i mouse over here you can see this output is coming from loop manager so this manager is actually coming from all items so here how we can define the column name so this was an challenging part here what you need to do here you just need to click here and then in this expression you need to just type item in small cases and then open and close braces and then click on type this question mark and square bracket within the single quotes you need to type the column name and then click on okay if you do so then it will add this as a column of this particular object so here is equal to this one and here is output i need from this loop manager so after this filtering this one i am actually creating an html table so that i can add insight to my email so this is actually coming from this filter array itself as an output and here we have option of create html table how we can do that plus here add an action and here you can just type html and this comes under create html table under data operation itself so most of things i am using it from variable and data operations now in this video so after creating a table and i am using it here now office 365 email send an email options so clicking on this one here the two which is basically 
we need to send an email so i'm taking this to from the loop manager so if you look at here the loop manager this is the output of this one which is current item here in this case it will treat as mohammadadnanti at gmail.com for the first cycle and next one it will take as adnan at gmail.com that's the second cycle so here two orders i'm adding this employee i mean this manager and after that hey it's the same thing um, loop manager and after that i'm just using this output which is coming from create html table so the html table what we have created here it's coming up here and i'm just typing a custom message here so once you do so and then click on save and apply it will apply to this logic and then if you click on run flow it will just trigger this flow and let's see how this goes so right now we have two emails here which is mohammadnanti at gmail.com and hotmail.com so now first of all let's go to the flow and whether to see whether the flow works fine if you can see 20 second ago the flow is succeeded here and if i expand this one let's see how this actually works so on pop the button click all details this actually gets all the details of this project entirely in json format you can see it here first is at gmail.com and then hotmail and then again gmail and after that manager array so in the manager array you can see this is initializing a variable and after that we are applying to each and append to a variable so first of all it is taking at gmail.com you can see this one this repeating at three times because we have three rows gmail.com and then it is loading as a hotmail.com and the third one is also taking as gmail.com so everything is appended here and now the unique managers and if you see the output of this one is only two unique one gmail and hotmail so that's how it, the union function works here and then this apply to each of these unique managers the loop manager first of all it will take the value of gmail.com and this gmail.com will filter the value you can see the input here in input we have three values which is the gmail here and the next thing is a hotmail here and the last thing is also gmail but here the final output is the gmail part one here and another gmail that's it so it has filtered the manager exactly here and then it is creating an html table here as you can see this is a json format it passes here but this is how the html table look like and finally we are sending an email which is basically the two addresses gmail.com it has taken automatically and this is a subject here project overdue alert and here hey, this is also comes out from the automated and here is the table which is coming here now if i look into my gmail i have received an email here this is how it looks like it's just a two minute ago and then this is how this temporary table look like the html table look like so if you want the format of this table to be a different one and you can just bold headers and with conditional formatting and all that hopefully we'll cover in the future part of the videos as of now you can see this is i received on the gmail and if i go to my hotmail you can also look at this one i received that email here this is a single record which is for the hotmail and in the gmail i have this two record for the same manager so this is how you can able to do this if you have multiple managers you can just send one single email for them in combination of all the other tasks or other users overdue kind of thing this is just a sample scenario if you have similar kind of thing which you are just facing any kind of issues using this power bi and power automate please let me know in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video